This is The Lockpicking Lawyer, and today we are going to see what it takes to drill out this Chicago Lock Company padlock with an ACE2 tubular core. Now, if you've been with me for a while, you may recognize this lock. I featured it in video number 76, in which we both picked and shimmed this lock open. Now, when it comes to drilling out tubular locks like this, there's a couple of different approaches. The first, and probably the most common, would be to drill out the center post. Now, lock manufacturers have responded in two ways to that. The first is to use a hardened steel post in there, and that's usually what you'll find in American padlocks that have tubular cores. And the other is to put a hardened ball bearing right in the center of this, and you'll often see that on Chinese-made tubular locks. Another way to drill these locks out is to drill for the pin that keeps the core from rotating in the lock body. And it's easy to see on a cam lock, and I have one right here. You can see we have a pin right there that keeps the circular core that you can see down in here from rotating in the cam lock body. Similarly, we have a pin that goes in the side of this padlock that keeps this core from rotating inside the padlock body. They are almost always at the 12 o'clock position, so what you can do is drill right down the center at the 12 o'clock position and shear off that pin, after which you can rotate the whole core and open up the lock. The final approach is what we will be doing today, and I like it because it's very, very easy and it also allows you to decode the lock after you're done drilling. So if you have several locks with the same bidding, you can drill one of them, then make yourself a key. And that approach is to drill out the bezel right here, and that allows you to take all the key pins and driver pins and springs out, and then of course the lock will turn freely. Once you have the key pins out, of course, you can measure them, decode the lock, and make yourself a key. Now, the bit that allows you to do this is this little guy right here, the A1 Security Tubular Lock Hole Saw. And you can see this one has some mileage on it. It's probably drilled out, I'll say six, maybe as many as eight tubular locks thus far. And you can see some of the points are chipped, but it has two main features. The first is that center collar that fits inside of the lock, it guides the saw, and it also compresses all of the pins to keep them out of the way of the saw teeth. Then the saw teeth are, the, are what actually eats away the bezel of the lock. And it's a really, really easy way to drill these locks out, and frankly, it's kind of hard to even screw it up. So that's what we're gonna try to do today. I'm gonna put this in my drill. And normally, I would not even consider drilling a lock in my hand, but this is so foolproof that I think we're gonna do that right now. And of course, with a padlock, to drill one out, it would be very, very hard to put it in a vise. So this is how you would actually end up drilling this in the field. So let's put it right there and get to drilling. Okay, I'm gonna stop and show you our progress progress thus far. Let me put the drill down and you can see we've gone through the chrome and we're eating away at the brass on the lock. Okay, let's check our progress again. I think we're pretty darn close. Let me get some air here and blow away all of the metal dust here. Okay. We're really close to having this lock open. Let's just do a little bit more and we should be good to go. I think we've got it. Nope, not quite. Okay, it's a little bit hard to tell, 
I think if we were just to tap on this, everything would fall out. So let's give that a shot now. Okay, we just have one pin chamber that looks like it's being a little bit stubborn. Let me reach in there and see if we can push him, coax him. Okay. Mm, just the driver pin there, not coming out. Let's see if this will turn. I'm going to use a different key. It doesn't really matter what you use. Okay, whatever we've gotten enough for the pins out that this will turn. So as you can see, very, very easy to drill these locks out. It looks like that last driver pin came out. Right now we have absolutely no pins at all in this lock. Obviously it turns very, very easily now. No issues at all there. And if we wanted to, what we could have done was be careful when taking all of these pins out. We could have selected the correct key pins in the correct position, measured them, decoded them, and cut ourselves a key. So that has been a little demonstration of drilling out a tubular lock with a hole saw from A1 Security. If you have any questions or comments about this, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you. Okay folks, I was cleaning up and took a closer look at the pins and springs that came out of this lock, and I found a few things that were noteworthy. First the springs. I have seen springs like this in ACE2 locks before. They are varying strength, and the reason they put those varying strength springs is to prevent someone from using a tubular lock impressioning tool. However, what is new is the variety of security pins that we see down here. You can see we have seven spooled pins, and that's a mixture of key pins and driver pins. Then we have the two rat tail driver pins. The presence of that rat tail is not new. They've been in ACE2 locks for a while and they're designed to prevent an overlift attack. What is, however, relatively recent is the T-pin cut at the top. Something else I have never seen in an ACE2 lock before is the anti-drill pin that you see on the far left. So presumably, if you were drilling this lock out and your bit hit that pin, it would do some damage to the drill bit. So all interesting stuff. I'm going to have to take a look at video number 76 again to see if this lock presented any unusual difficulties, but I certainly don't recall it doing that. Okay, that's really it for now this time. Again, if you do have any questions or comments, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.